unfortunately, PKD doesn't discriminate. So the, t the typical patient could be anybody. And um, it affects all races, all ethnic uh, groups, uh, all parts of the world are, uh, have, are known to have uh, cases of polycystic kidney disease. Polycystic kidney disease is a term for a group of disorders. Most of them are hereditary that cause cysts to appear in the kidneys. Cysts are fluid-filled cavities. And uh, typically, these enlarge over time, causing a loss of kidney function and, uh, in fact, a need for dialysis or kidney transplantation. So the, the, the typical course of polycystic kidney disease is about 50% of individuals re will require dialysis or kidney transplant by their mid-50s. Um, some of the others may never need dialysis or transplant, whereas others may have had dialysis or transplant required at an, at an earlier age, as, as young as the 30s or the 40s. The, the most common um, symptom, or really sign, is, is elevated blood pressure. Uh, elevated blood pressure is very common in, in polycystic kidney disease and, and affects um, about two-thirds of people very early on in the course of the disease. Uh, other kinds of symptoms that people may have include pain in one or both of the kidneys, kidney stones, blood in the urine, um, urinary tract infection may also be a presentation for polycystic kidney disease. So th the treatment options for polycystic kidney disease right now are primarily related to supportive therapies, that is treatment of blood pressure, maintenance of overall good health, and uh, protecting the heart. It turns out that kidney disease is a risk factor for having heart attacks in the future. And so we really very strongly advise healthy diets, exercise, avoiding smoking, maintaining a normal weight, all the things that you hear about to, to stay healthy. There is no specific treatment right now for polycystic kidney disease. Uh, however, we're in, embarked on a number of research studies that we hope are going to be leading to more specific treatments in the near future. Unfortunately, about half of people with polycystic kidney disease progress to need dialysis or kidney transplant by the mid-50s or, or early 60s. And for those people, we're able to offer all of the options related to kidney replacement therapy, either dialysis or kidney transplantation. And in general, we would favor doing preemptive live donor kidney transplantation. Preemptive means doing the transplant before dialysis is needed, and live donor, hopefully from a relative, is really the best option for a good outcome after transplantation. And if one is not able to go on the transplant list or get a live donor transplant right away, then dialysis is a perfectly reasonable option for someone. Many people can live a very long time and live fairly healthy lives while on dialysis. We believe that the Polycystic Kidney Disease Center at Tufts Medical Center is, is one of a, a few large multidisciplinary programs around the country, and certainly the only one in Boston, where we can um, offer everything from soup to nuts. So we have experts that can deal with every aspect of polycystic kidney disease, ranging from the kidneys at the earliest stages to the later stages when dialysis or transplant may be needed. We have expert neurosurgeons uh, who will deal with brain aneurysms, which are one of the manifestations of PKD, unfortunately, but nonetheless it needs to be addressed. And we have close collaborations with various surgical specialties in case individuals need surgical intervention for their polycystic kidneys or their liver. Many of my colleagues in nephrology are involved in national and international activities related to guideline development and research. Um, our surgeons are terrific and we all work very closely together, so I, I think that it's possible to offer uh, top-level care uh, addressing all aspects of someone's situation with polycystic kidney disease.